As you recall in the previous training video, we learned what a split task is. It's basically taking a task that you're going to have an interruption or a delay in and splitting it and moving that part of the task that won't be completed to a later date or move it out several days as far as you need to go. Well, you can split any task. It doesn't have to be somewhat completed. You can split even those that haven't even started yet. The difference between splitting a task and what we're about to do here, which is called rescheduling a task, is rescheduling a task is taking a task that has already started, either 1, 2, or 10 percent, or 50 percent, and rescheduling that part of the task that hasn't been completed yet to a specified later date. For example, I've got this task here, Create Outline. The total duration is two days. Over in the Gantt chart, I'm looking at the progress bar, as you recall in the previous training video, it's 50 percent completed. So let's say that Rider 1 had an emergency and can't complete the last half of the task until maybe August 17th here. So what we can do is come up here, click on the Tools menu, go down to Tracking, go over and down and click on Update Project, and we want to select Reschedule Uncompleted Work to start after a certain date. What date is that? Let me go back to 2008 and then click on the drop down arrow, go back to August, and we were going to say that we can start after August the 17th. Let's say not on August the 17th because that's a Sunday, just after. Now, do I want to do this for the whole project or just the selected task? If I say the whole project and click OK, any other tasks that are somewhat completed, either 1%, 2%, 99%, they're going to be starting the uncompleted part after August 17th which I wouldn't want to do if I have other tasks that are partially completed. Well, since I only have one here, I could just go with the entire project and click OK and be all right. But we'll select Selected Task, click OK, and there we go, it bumps it out to August the 17th. Now you can do that either way. You can either go ahead and split the task, as we learned in the previous training video, and click and drag that out several days, or if you want to get really specific, I recommend using the Reschedule Task feature here in Project and you can schedule after a specific date, which again, the 17th was a Sunday, so now we're beginning on the 18th. And again, it just splits it here, but you were able to do it more specifically using the reschedule task feature. So like any split, if you want to bring it back together, go ahead and hover over the split part or the second half of the task, click and drag it and pull it right back, and you may have to do it again or a couple of times till it sticks, and there you go, it's pulled back now. And then, of course, if I go ahead and hit Undo, you can see that the project's end date hasn't been pushed out because of this delay time that we have between the task here and the next task. So we can keep pushing that up right until it hits here, in which case it becomes critical. Then I'll push the project's end date out. Also, keep in mind that if you do have the uh, rescheduling of the part of the task here, you may want to come over here, as we learned in the previous training video, and type in a note that when we hover over it, it'll say, well, it was rescheduled due to a family emergency. Again, double click here, go to the Notes tab, type in your note here, and of course click OK. So you can hover over the note and it will say, well, not here, but family emergency.